There's the date and time. 10:39 on the on September 14th. Part 32 of the um, Sam Cedar tours the PVTA. I just got off of 51576. It's waiting on the um, PVTA 10. It's on PVTA 10, waiting to go back to um, Springfield. The Owl Shuttle just left. About 10. The Owl and the um, 10S. Notice the stagger on the 10, on the 10S, because it, um, there's like one Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Tuesday, Thursday. He got here just in time. On to the next. Yes, that's Scandon Hall, that, which the bus stop is named for. For this one, I can use my camcorder as a cell phone. I need the battery in my cell phone for my bus pass. Here's a little view of um, Westfield State University. Scandon Hall is this long thing right here, long, is this long building. This is Westwood and, and Westfield and Westwood, Westfield Street, and that's Westwood right there. You can only go to, um, there is no, um, there is no eastbound stop, or I'm where, I'm where it would be if there were. Here's the Elm Shuttle passing by. They drop off there. The map will tell you, if I were to, um, do, to go to, um, Back to Springfield, they tell the map would tell me to go to Westfield State and ride the bus to West, board the bus there, and then ride through Westfield State, which you can't do right now. This would make sense to put the uh, stop on, across, on, or more likely the stop would be up there after if they if they had the westbound the eastbound stop, it would be after the light. Because this one's after it as well. They've repaved the um, road. This is the new sidewalk this year, and that's the new road. New um, crosswalk signals that aren't on yet, so they're related. Traffic lights are on, um, are flashing. On to the next one. This is um, Westwood and West Westwood and Over Westwood and Overlook. One of those uh, westbound only stations, and again there's the um, an L, the L shuttle passing by. I'll probably, I might see it again, I might see it one more time. You have a bus shelter, 
a bus shelter at the bench and the polling lane. The bus stop, if they, if the fire hydrant weren't there, the eastbound stop would be about where the fire hydrant would be, or it might be a little further along, like about right there, or so. Let me see. Yeah, right, right there. That way they don't block the fire hydrant. This is the start of Westfield State. Depends upon where you're going. So this is the first of the three traveling to Westfield. This, the one before it, and on Westfield State itself. Western, City of Westfield, Western Avenue Repair Station. And on to the next one. There's a large park. I think that's Overlook Park. I don't know what the, the, the building is called. Well, that sign up ahead will say what it is. Well, this is still part of Westfield State University. And now on to the next one. Oh, the Horace Mann Center. This is Westfield and Birch. The, side, um, the sidewalk has narrowed here. This is the first to... Um, like the others, the um, maybe the um, what, may, this is the um, what, um, westbound stop to um, Westfield State. The eastbound stop should be across the street from it, under the tree. It would make sense right here. It's just a sign. And they'll probably stop for people wanting to trying to um, who want to get on going to back to Springfield much else to show you. This is the residential part of um, the bus road street. Now on to the next one. Here is Westwood and Lathrop. From the street side, you have to be looking for it because it's behind some bra um, brush and other a shorter brush is trying to um, is obscuring the pole or power pole. You want to go around. The best way to do this is to go around the brush from the west side. and then wait about right here. This is for traveling to Westfield State. The other stop, the return trip should be under those, the return stop, the stop for the return trip should be under those two trees, I would think. That way, if it's after the intersection,
you really should have at least the cement pad right there to stand on. Little view of the lake rib um, there. Bit. I don't know where the microphone is. On this one. Maybe it doesn't have any holes. Well, on to the next one. Now this is Western and Highland. Notice we're on the other side of the street. It's mate from since it um it's across the street from the cemetery. Might might be useful to some people. Maybe that um, the high, the Highland people itself, the Highland Road people itself. To save some time, I'll also film court and cemetery in the same trip. Since it's that close. There's no crosswalk, so we can't do um, George's thing. Yeah, no, they didn't. But they did way far back. All right. Oh, the sign's up a little further than I thought. Kind of treacherous right here. They need to replace this. I don't see a sign. I don't know where the stop is. I'm just going to say the stop is right here and I'll pick it up again later. Because that's what the map says it is. Court and cemetery, there's no sign. The bus stop might actually be down there.
Thank you for watching part 32 of um, Sam Cedar Explores the PVTA. And have fun.